Today, we're going to do a brief overview of a feature that's found within Cakewalk by BandLab that has been requested by the community to be covered in this topic. Oh, it's right between tutorial video request and a favorite. So let's just have both. If there is a tutorial video that you would like to request, drop that in the chat. During the weekly live stream, we spun the Wheel of Awesomeness and we had a tutorial video request. And this was actually the most requested of all of the video tutorials that were asked about. So let's dive right into what step recording is within Cakewalk by Bandlab. So here while on the desktop, you can hold the shift button and press R to pull up the step record feature found here. So now you may be asking, well, what exactly is step recording? Well, step recording is a method of recording MIDI notes, one note, or even a chord at a time. It's a very easy and a precise way to record, but can also sound mechanical if used in the wrong situations. Now you can use step recording in its typical form by choosing a step size, such as a quarter note, and then playing a note on your MIDI keyboard. When you play the note, Cakewalk by BandLab records the note and moves the insertion point forward by the distance of the step size. Now, it would be notable to mention that moving the insertion point every time you press a note is the default behavior, by the way. You can then record more notes of the same duration by playing notes on your keyboard, or you can even change the step size while you're recording and record different size notes. You can also choose how long the notes you play will sound as a percentage of the step size. For example, even though you record some notes that have a step size of a quarter note, if you set the duration field to 50%, the notes will be recorded and displayed as a series of eighth notes, each followed by an eighth rest. Now, the insertion point for each recorded note in this example that I just gave moves by a quarter note, the step size, each time you record a note. If the duration is longer than the step size, the notes will then overlap the notes recorded at the next step. Now, Cakewalk by BandLab will display your step recorded notes in the staff view, piano roll view, event list, and even the clips pane in real time as you step record them. Okay, so now to better help you understand the previous example that I gave you with the duration field, let's go ahead and set this exactly as I had given in the example so you can see it in action. So the first thing I'm going to do is set the step size to a quarter note. I'm going to uncheck the follow step size in the duration portion of this dialog box and then set the note value to 50%. Now these are all the settings that we talked about in the aforementioned example. Now remember, even though the step size is that of a quarter note, I have the duration field set to 50%, which means that the notes will be recorded and displayed as a series of eighth notes, each followed by an eighth rest. Likewise, the insertion point for each recorded note, as you can remember, is moved by a quarter note, or the step size, each time I record a new note. You'll notice that the small footprints at the bottom right hand corner of this dialog box is lit up red, denoting that the step record feature is enabled. So now I can go ahead and begin my step recording. The great thing about this is you don't have to feel rushed about finding the next chord that you want to add to your progression. Observe what I'm playing on the keyboard versus what the step recorder actually records. So as you can see, with each new addition of a chord, a new step is added and an eighth rest is given to that. Because this is set to a 4-4 pattern, you can see that it stops directly in the middle of that particular measure. Now let's take a listen. So as you can see, this is very different from what was played on the keyboard. What I played on the keyboard was long and drawn out and somewhat ambient, whereas this is more staccato. All right, now let's change some different values on this to maybe get a different feel for that particular piece. I'm gonna set this to whole steps and check the follow step size box under the duration. Now let's see what this sounds like.
All right, with the newly recorded track recorded to a whole note step size, let's see what this sounds like. You'll notice that was a lot closer to what I was actually playing in the first place. However, one thing was missing from that particular performance. During this particular portion of the progression, I wanted the transition from one chord to the next to actually be on a half note. Now, obviously, there are a few different ways that I can do this. I could literally come in here and split it by pressing the S button on the keyboard and drag this down to meet my specifications. Or even while in step record mode, I could change it up as well. Let me show you how. Okay, step record is enabled. I have it set to a whole note again. So here's where I want the half note value to be entered. So I can simply go in here to half note and select this now while it's still in the same mode. Go back to whole note. And there you have it. Let's have a listen now to this piece after I've added the half note durations there. That sounded exactly like what I was looking for. And because this piece ends on the same note, I can actually take this out. And now I have a perfect loop that I can use in a project. Now, the great thing about this is that everything is going to be perfectly in time aligned to a grid. And the bad thing about this is that everything is going to be perfectly in time aligned to the grid. <laughs> so like as I stated at the beginning of this video, it's very crucial to only use this for certain things. I covered in a previous video about MIDI on how to make your MIDI sound more realistic. Now, this is definitely one of those areas where it is really up to taste, but in using the step record feature, just be mindful that it will sound very robotic if things aren't actually adjusted in post. Now, there are also some other commands that Cakewalk by BandLab will let you change while you're in step record mode. For instance, the use of other commands while step recording, changing tracks while recording, adding two step sizes together by pressing the plus key between each step size selection. You can delete as many step recorded notes as you want while moving the insertion point back through the steps that you delete. You can even configure step recording key bindings. And with this feature, you can make any kind of tuplet. Likewise, you can create a custom step size lasting any number of ticks. And ticks are divisions of a beat that Cakewalk by BandLab uses, which is 960 by default. Cakewalk by BandLab will also remember the custom step size until you change it. You can move the insertion points by beats, measures, or step size as well. Another helpful feature is that you can link the position of the now time to the insertion point. You can offset the insertion point by the number of ticks that you specify. You can randomize the duration of the notes to make it sound a little less robotic. And you can record notes with constant pitch and or velocity and or channel, or even hold notes across steps. Now, if you get really good at using step recording, you can even use keyboard shortcuts, which thereby will allow you to leave your left hand on the MIDI keyboard to enter notes with and control most of the step recording functions with your right hand on the number pad. Some other interesting facts to bring up is that MIDI data is recorded using step record even if the track is not armed. Loop markers are ignored and step recording always uses the sound on sound or the blend record mode regardless of the current record mode that you're currently on. All right, guys, I think that just about covers the step record feature that's found within Cakewalk by BandLab. Down in the description of this video, I'm also going to include a free PDF download that will include all the default shortcuts that are already set within Cakewalk by BandLab for step recording. So go and download that. It's completely free. I don't need your email, nothing of that sort. 
simply giving it to you just because I love you. All right, until next time, guys, remember that this channel exists to simplify the complexities of the home studio and to help you make professional sounding music in a less than professional space. We can dream alone and we can even create alone, but together we can achieve so much more.